Hey, Colin Gray here from thepodcasthost.com. A very rough and ready video just to show you how the Rodecaster works on multi-track. How to turn it on, how to turn it off, reasons you might want to turn it off, and uh, a quick look at how it actually works on the Rodecaster itself. So as you probably know, the Rodecaster has quite a few different tracks. It's got one for each of the individual microphones. One, two, three, four. Uh, you've also got the USB, you've got the phone input, and you've got the Bluetooth input. Plus, you have the pads as well, and you can see all of them up here on the settings. Now, the Rodecaster can do uh, the recordings in two different ways. It can either record a standard stereo output, so all you get is all of these channels on one stereo mix, or it can record them all individually. Now, there's a few reasons you might want to do this. So the stereo mix is quite simple. It just gives you a stereo file, keeps the file size quite low, and lets you still access all of the audio, but you don't have control over each track separately. You can't bring each track into your editor separately and edit them all individually. Whereas if you do the multi-track, you get this on one track, you get this on another track, you get this on another track, this on another track, and basically you can take these into your editor and edit them all very separately. So somebody's too loud, you can change that. Somebody's too quiet, you can increase them. You can do noise reduction on this channel, but not on that channel. So it gives you more control, but the downsides being the files are huge. <laughs> so it records 14 tracks in total. The first two of that 14 track wave file are in fact uh, the stereo mix. And then the other 12 are these channels. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, and more in fact. So you get lots and lots of channels, but it's huge file size. You get them all individually, more control, but you're getting that downside. Now to change it, you go up to the Roadcaster settings, you press the settings button there, you go to hardware, and you've got in advanced, you've got multi-track setting right here. So if I click that, it's not entirely clear here that it's not on multi-track. So when neither of these are selected, so you've not got the USB, you've not got the SD card selected or the USB selected, that means it's just on normal stereo mode. It's just going to create a stereo mix of all of the channels. But as soon as you click any of these, that's going to now record multi-track to the SD card. And that is now going to record multi-track to the USB output if you plug that into your computer. You've also got bypass audio processing, obviously, that's outputting um, with the limiting EQ, compression, all that kind of stuff, all the extra stuff the Roadcaster does. So if you want multi-track on, SD card USB, you select these individually. If you don't want multi-track, if you're just doing a standard stereo mix, keep your file sizes small, not too worried about ultimate control over every track. You have it like this, get both of them deselected. So I hope that gives you an idea of how the Rodecaster works on multi-track mode uh, or whether you want to go stereo as well. It's up to you which one you choose, obviously, but that should give you an idea of how to go between them. Of course, if you want any extra help with this, you can always check out our Podcast Host Academy over at thepodcasthost.com forward slash academy. We've got lots of live coaching there. Every week we do a live q and so You can ask questions just like this about devices like this uh, and lots of courses as well from equipment to launch to editing to, uh, to growth. All right, talk to you on the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.